everyone, Lolly here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about, um, sorry, I just did my mini Moo card video. <laughs> That'll be up on Monday. So if you want to hop over and watch that. But today I'm going to talk about um, using what you have or thinking of ways of using things maybe in a different way than you might not have thought of before. And I thought today we would make, sorry, I stepped away, some ATCs. So I have some here that are like chipboard and then these are like a watercolor paper. So, um, so I have this magazine I bought yesterday at uh, the Goodwill bins, which is the Goodwill outlet center. I bought several things, but um, anyway, so, you know, there's so many people that want to get into junk journaling and ATCs and things like that, all the paper projects, and they're intimidated or just not sure that you have all the right stuff or what to do. And I have a couple of videos that, that say, um, don't be afraid to say yes, or just say yes and join the collaboration because when I first started, I was like, no way, I can't do collaboration. My, I don't know how to do it. I don't even barely know what an ATC is. And I'm sure that's true for a lot of people. So um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I love to take magazines, take out the pictures, and then I go to another page and I'll cut out the sentiment or the phrase or the quote or something like that and match up a different picture and with a quote. But um, we're going to kind of do the same thing today and just show you that um, when you're starting, or even if not, I like to do it now, um, take a magazine. This one I love because it all the pages are a matte finish. And so um, I think they're going to make really pretty ATCs. And I'll show you the basics and um, how easy it is to kind of just make a card really pretty if it's not a matte finish and you want it to be you can sand it a little bit you could put matte mod podge over it to take the shine out um you know just rough it up a little bit with really fine sandpaper and that would work also but um so you want to do is you can cut out a template and i have one for um my mini moves and oh somewhere <laughs> I don't know where it is right now but um you cut out an atc which is two and a half by three and a half you cut this out of a template so you have the hole in it and you can go around a page hold on let me see okay i cannot find it that's so crazy i have been organizing this craft room and cleaning out and now i'm like a stranger here because <laughs> i don't know where anything is so I literally just picked it up and I had ordered it from an Etsy shop. I ordered the ATCs and um, that little template and I have made one for the mini moves and um, other projects as well. And I'll show you, um, all right, so we don't want it right on the edge. So you're going to measure and if you have a playing card, not all playing cards are that size. It should be two and a half by three and a half. So you're going to cut this out. You probably want to do it on something stiffer than this piece of scrap paper. All right. Now, find my little scissors. Actually, I have this guy. So we don't want to cut through. Just want to cut out this little square here. So this little template will do whatever project you're working on, an envelope, an ATC, um, Rolodex card, you just want to cut out the size that you need. And then you'll have a little, instead of holding the card 
over your project and it blocks your picture, if you have this, you'll be able to see exactly what's going to show up in your um, on your card. So, for example, so this is my ATC card size here. So if I was going to put it over this base, I'd be trying to figure out where where to put it. And you can do that still. But if I use this, then I can tell exactly what's going to be inside this card. So here I'd like to have the word artisans, but maybe not. So anyway, that's the idea. So for whatever size project you're doing, cut yourself a template. And then like at night, sometimes when I'm watching TV, I'll get my magazines out and I'll just start going through. And then I'll know what I want to cut out, whether it be ATCs, Rolodex. Right, so let's cut out some cards. So, and I have a video from maybe two years ago that shows um, using those little templates and the template I'm looking for. Oh, I found it. Ah, of course. So this one I ordered um, from a shop from Etsy, gosh, years ago. But she also has the uh, stickers that you put on the back when you do an ATC swap. And so that's what I ordered from her. But this is it, the same idea. We're just going to cut out the hole instead of trying to put our card over to see what's going to fit. So that would be a pretty one right there. So you can cut that out, put a quote or a sentiment or something on there. That would be really pretty. So, all right, I'm gonna switch to this one then since I have it. And sometimes when you do this, you see things that you're like, oh, nothing on here. But could you put a sentiment on this chair, an old quote or something like that? That would be really pretty. You could capture this plant. So now when I'm looking through my template, I see things completely different. Like for at first the sight, I'm like, no, I don't think so. But look, this one, you just have a beautiful background. I think I would save this picture for something else, but... Look at the beautiful backgrounds you can get just by looking through, looking through this kind of lens. Like, um, like here you have this really pretty. So just, I just love it. I love the way you can now you can just capture like, look, this is a table, and I wouldn't think that I'd need a picture of a table, but now look what I have. I'm have this beautiful design right here. So I love that. This little slot right here is to measure when you're mailing something. It can't be any thicker than that to be just a regular first class mail. So that's what that slot is for. <laughs> not, not that I could do that skinny, maybe that, but anyway, that's what that's for. It's just to measure when you're mailing something to make sure it's not too thick. So here again, we have some trees, beautiful background. Add your embellishments some metal pieces, your inking, all of that. Here's an archway. That would be really pretty to put on something and then cover up the writing. Look how pretty that would be. So anyway, I just love it. I love just looking through magazines with these little templates and just seeing the beautiful backgrounds. Like even that, I mean, they're just so pretty. And then once you narrow it down to that little square, it's a whole new world. Look at these. Now that... I love and then this one beautiful you're gonna have uh, the best ATCs when you go through your magazines and I think that we all have magazines of some sort or we have a friend or a neighbor or somebody that um, you could get the magazine from so I think it's readily available um, to you to find them somewhere and um, so so a lot of things that would just make really pretty. And then if you added your own on here, if you, you did some line drawings on here or some doodles, I mean, it doesn't have to stay this serious, right? You could put your doodles on there and your markings, things like that, and make a whole new scene out of it. I love it. <laughs>
Okay. Really pretty backgrounds. Oh, look at this. This would make really pretty background here. You could have this as a background. This as a background. And you're almost there. I mean, by the time you cut that out of your magazine, you're literally almost there. So that's beautiful. That would be really pretty for spring. If I could find a spring quote. There's another window here. All right, so I guess you guys get the idea. Look at this. So it's a little bigger, but I mean, you could turn it this way and just have the bugs. <laughs> I love it. I think I'm gonna use that for something. So, and here's just the um, panels back here on this uh, wall. Am I in frame? And so here, now look what I have. However you wanna put it even or like this. Love it. Could even have your little light over here. So. And even just for backgrounds. This magazine, I just lucked out. The pictures are matte. It, they're just, they're beautiful pictures. So I lucked out with this for sure. And at the bins, um, books are 25 cents each. So not a bad deal because I'm going to get a lot of miles out of this book, I'm sure. Look at that. I love that. All right. So, and if you're doing a journaling card, you just, whatever size your journal card is, or your pockets, if you're going to put pockets in a uh, journal, um, even in your own personal journal, just cut out the size that you want and then just start going through your magazines. Even if you held it up to a piece of scrapbook paper, I just have this handy and I'll just use it. Um, all the same thing and it looks kind of boring but once you narrow it down to what you're looking at um, making then it changes the whole view so if you were making a pocket you come on here and you just cut out a section of it and then you could put that in your book um, or put this part in your book you know I go through my scrapbook paper with these all the time and you'll find a flower at the bottom and you're like oh my gosh I just need that little section. I don't need this whole card. So look at this. That, love it. There's your ATC already right there to go. Some ink. Beautiful. All right, look at these. These are, okay, let's use them. They are almost the size that we need, but we can make them the size that we need. I hate to mess up any of these pictures. They're so pretty. So we're gonna use these. All right, so I'm gonna cut them a little bigger to figure out what I need. So, I mean, if you can tell, I love this whole idea with the template. And um, I have talked about it before, but it's a long time ago. So if you're new here and you haven't seen it, just wanna give you the idea of how you can go through things. And because I hear a lot of people say, they want to get into certain things um, but they don't know how um, how to get started and again when I first started my first ATC swap I was sick in my stomach the whole time <laughs> I'm like why did I sign up for this what was I thinking and then it turned out okay because I mean the best part about swaps is that your work is not like anybody else's and that's the best part right you wouldn't want to get all the same cards from everybody if we all had matching um, artwork. So mm, let's see. Oh, you know what I want to do first? I think we will, since we need a little bit of an edge around here, you can leave it and it would be like a frame or let's see if we have, all right. You can put a solid piece of paper back here. You could ink your edges thicker so that covered in the space I'm gonna do a couple of different kinds here and I'll show you I'm going to just line our edge all right I'm just folding these over if you were doing a swap you'd want to trim it and have it all nice and neat on the back and then put your information back there so.
Okay, so I didn't need as much of a background as I thought I did, which is good. Now you could glue these um, because one thing with sticky tape is that's it. Once you lay it down, so if it's not perfect, sorry. <laughs> There we go. So not exactly perfect, but let me get a different dauber. See, without the washi tape, I could have just inked a little bit thicker. And there we go. So here's our first ATC. Cute little scene here. We'll just cut out some words or something that goes with it. Now, an ATC, the intention is that it's a piece of your artwork, right? So... Um, when you're making that, you, you don't want to just stop with this because that's not your artwork. But what you do to it after that, you can make it whimsical. You can add lines and markings on here. Um, you know, add a little character here with a sticker. This can be your background. So you want to build up from here, right? So I just want to show you how you can get started. So this should spark ideas for you right so you can go in there now and make it yours but definitely when you're doing these you want to make sure that you know it's your artwork so but i think that going through your magazine with this little template and um you know once you start with this then the ideas are endless after that your your mind's going to start going here with all kinds of ideas you can find words to put on there put some gold leafing on there or gold alcohol ink um i mean the sky's the limit on an atc i like to keep mine flat for the most part um i'm kind of old school where the atcs used to swap them and you would keep them in um one of those like baseball card sheets and so the idea was that they stayed flat um, so you could keep them. But nowadays, ATCs are far from one dimensional and there are so many different ways to store them and save them now. So whatever your style is, um, you definitely want to do that. You want that to show um, when you send your card to someone in a swap. All right, so here's the next one. Okay, both pictures came from a magazine. A lot of the work done for me, so now I can just add to it and make it kind of, not kind of special, but make it special. So I think we're gonna put, I don't need that tree, but I like this. So what I'm doing here in the background is just going over all of the lines that are already showing. I don't think that you can see it on the camera, but the ceiling has planks. And so I'm just taking um, the dark marker, the black one, and kind of highlighting where they meet, you know, where you can tell their planks and then um, putting a little gray over it later to kind of highlight that and then I'm going around the whole background just line drawing on the doors and the trim anywhere there's a straight line basically I've gone over all of those just to highlight them and just to make this look more like a drawing um, and I'll talk about that here in just a bit that um, I drew the black lines around the table and around the plant so not that it made it look like a cartoon but i think that it just that way it doesn't look like a printed page out of a magazine and then um, on this picture it is a doorway and there is an ivy growing up alongside of the door there so i just went in with different shades of green 
and some brown and I just highlighted over those leaves and so now instead of the pale leaves that I had in my magazine picture I have that picture um, leaves I'm sorry that look more kind of 3d and dimensional um, on my little page here so I liked the flip-flops sitting on the front porch there but they were a little bit too big and um, I don't always do to scale like I didn't find a little tiny um, is that a violin or something I I like to just imply things so you know when you look here and we put um, the couple they're standing in front of you know what looks like maybe their new house and so the um, phrase is beauty emerges so maybe they have a new house or maybe he's talking about her with beauty emerges and here I put the little instrument over on the left and the quote is there's beauty in simplicity so I think it just evokes those feelings when you look at it that just simple and calm there's music there's plants you know just the doorway was also just like uh, wood planks and I just highlighted those so okay so here we go so I think that doing drawings you know I did kind of messy little doodles here and there but I think it gave it more of a cartoony kind of look to it maybe like a drawing um, instead of just a picture and then here just highlighted the door the plants just to bring out the color so it doesn't just look like a flat picture you cut out of a magazine and then your imagination can just go from there um, these are the words I found in the book these are words they're not Tim Holtz but I think they ordered them on maybe Timu um, or Amazon I'm not sure I've had them for a long time but anyway I just cut those out of there and um, so I was going to put the little bicycle or the flip-flops but they were a little bit big but so the more you add here the more it's your artwork right so um, then you can make it an ATC that is yours and that you've created and you've had the idea you know don't sell or um, trade anything that has any kind of copyright that you have to worry about so you want to take your image use it for inspiration change it up enough where it becomes then just a background for your artwork and the ideas are endless but don't be afraid to these are just brush markers I have here I use them for everything these are my Tim Holtz people you know draw lines splatter some watercolor on here just don't be afraid to do any of that but going through a magazine using this kind of template again for whatever you're doing if you just want to cut a pocket out for your journal you know do that same thing go through magazines you find great pictures in magazines they have tons of quotes inside magazines I know there are people that sit and just cut words out I kind of just go as I need them but um anyway this if you want to do an ATC or journaling card swap then these are good places to start but again change it up where it is your artwork um, journaling cards uh, don't have to be um, as focused on your artwork as an ATC but an ATC is actually an artist trading card and it's trading your artwork and your ideas and your vision in a little card and sharing it with someone else so all right so thanks for joining me today I just wanted to show you guys you know how easy it is just to take magazines you can find them anywhere um, even in junk mail you can find words that you can cut out or do like the um, what do they call it the ransom style where you just cut out random letters and make your own words so you can definitely do that but um, you know just don't be afraid to get started just jump in there and um, use this idea cut out your template and just start going through your magazines and uh, you'll be amazed at the ideas that you'll find just in that little box there so all right you guys I'll put still pictures at the end so you can see them better and I will see you in the next video bye